my kids always come to me and say, Hey mommy, I have an idea. Do you want to hear it? And sometimes I wish I had more than Sudism than I actually had. Because, you know, children's creativity needs to be nourished. So I searched the library and I found a book that I hope could be an encouragement for them. It's called What Do You Do With An Idea? It's about the transforming relationship of a boy and his friend, this idea. You know, which is unique about the book is the author created a character that uh, anthropomorphized the concept, an idea. See, it's this guy. It's an egg with a chicken feet or a bird feet and a crown. So this is one of the two main characters of the book. The boy at first he was afraid that people would laugh at his idea, so he kept running away from it or hiding it. But this idea just wouldn't let him go. So he decided to embrace it and spending more time with it and nourish it. And this idea grew bigger and bigger. People did reject his ideas and laugh at it. But this never stopped the boy from hiding out with his idea friend. And finally one day, before he even realized it, his idea broke out of the shell and burst into the sky with his newly developed wings. And every page became colorful after that. You probably have noticed before all the pages are almost black and white except this idea egg. It's a very well illustrated book and the narrative is good too. I think it's more suitable for older kids because young kids, they don't have this kind of struggle. When they have an idea, they don't worry much. They just run to their parents and tell them. But when they grow older, sooner or later, they will have this sensitivity. I guess it's nice to have this story buried in their mind. And one day it will burst out of its shell and become an encouragement to them. Thanks for watching. I am Grace. I review children's books. See you tomorrow.